Hello, my name is Sergeant Sherman. Today I'm going to teach and de demonstrate how to determine a magnetic azimuth using a lasatic compass. Foreign disclosure, this training product has been reviewed by the training developers in coordination with the G2 Fort Benning, Georgia 31905 foreign disclosure officer. This training product can be used to instruct international military students from all approved countries without restrictions. Conditions. You are a member of a squad or a team in a field environment and have been directed to determine a magnetic azimuth. You have a compass and a designated point on the ground. Some iterations of this task should be performed in Mach 4, but we're not going to because of the heat. Standards. Inspect the compass, determine the correct magnetic azimuth to the designated point within three degrees using the compass to cheek method and within 10 degrees using the center hold method. Special conditions and special standards, there are none. The safety risk is low. Be careful of tripping hazards in wildlife. Be sure to drink plenty of water to prevent dehydration. It is the duty of all soldiers and DA civilians to protect and preserve their environment. I am now going to demonstrate the standards of how to determine a magnetic azimuth using a lasatic compass. So now I'm basically going to tell you what I did. I basically inspected the compass to make sure there was nothing broken and to make sure that it works properly. I then did the lensatic compass floating down, which is to ensure no metal or elect electrical objects are around because that can mess up your you getting your asthma. I also did the magnetic standoff which recommends the standoff in meters, such as power lines, standoff 55 meters, a field gun truck or tank 18 meters, a telephone wire 10 meters, machine gun 2 meters, and rifle or steel helmet 0.5 meters. For the compass to check me cheek method, as I was, the compass to cheek method first you're going to open the compass to 90 degrees from the base. Then you're gonna position the eyepiece 45 degrees from the base. I'm going to place my thumb through the thumb loop. And then I'm gonna establish a steady base with my third and fourth finger I'm going to extend my index finger on the side of the base like this. Then I'm going to place my hand on the compass in the palm of my other hand. And then I'm going to move both hands up to my face. And I position my thumb in the loop hole against my cheekbone. And then I move the eyepiece up and down to ensure that the dial is focused, which it is. And then I align sighting of the eyepiece with the sighting wire in the cover on the designated point. I then read the azimuth that's in the index line. For the center hole method, I'm going to open the compass and I'm gonna make sure it's straight. 
Then I'm gonna position the eyepiece to the full right up position. And then I'm gonna place my thumb in a loop hole again. And then I'm go also gonna establish a steady base with my third and fourth finger. I'm gonna extend my index finger to the base of the compass. And then I'm gonna place my thumb between the eyepiece and the lens, which I have to kind of improvise because my thumb at the moment is broken, so bear with me. Um, I'm gonna extend my other finger along the other side of the compass, and then I'm gonna secure my remaining fingers with the other hand. And then I'm gonna place the compass between my, my, um, chin and belt, so basically my stomach area, just like this. And then I'm gonna turn my entire body, my entire body, let's say my point is over there. I start right here, I'm literally gonna turn my entire body to make sure that it lines up. And then I'm gonna align the compass to the point directly at the designated point, as I'm doing right now, and then I'm gonna read the azimuth that's fixed in the index line. And that's how you do the center, the center method. The uniform will be OCPs with the water source. Going to break you guys into groups to practice the standards. I have compasses on the side if you need them. I'm gonna give you guys five minutes. Five minutes has to pass. I walked around to make sure everybody knew what they were doing. There were, no, there were not too many questions, but if there were, I did answer them. Now I'm going to give you guys the test. I'm going to give you guys five minutes. So five some minutes to passes. Now, I did have one failure, so I'm going to do a full demonstration again with that soldier and then have them to retest for another five minutes. So that five minutes are passed. And now we're going to clean up. I'm gonna have everybody police up their area and I'm gonna give them about three to five minutes to do that. To turn back in the compasses and just to make sure the area is clean and the way that they found it. So, now five minutes to pass. Um, everybody has policed up their area. Now we can move on to the AR. So I demonstrated how to determine a magnetic azimuth using a lysatic compass. Um, so what did happen? You demonstrated how to determine a magnetic azimuth using a lysatic compass. Um, give me some sustains and the proofs. Um, overhead cover, sustain and improve will give us more time to test. So basically, gonna, we did, we conducted a police call already. Um, now I'm gonna close out the training site. Um, after this, I'm gonna report to my commander how many there were to train and how many failed. We had four who passed and one who failed. Um, and basically, now that the untrained person will test at a later date in the same uniform with the same standards, so it can meet requirement. And that concludes my brief.